Mr. Foley, welcome to the Flip and Right Show. I'm glad you joined us today. Today we're going to be talking about ways to sell houses quickly. Now I'm more talking about the wholesale deals right now than I am talking about pretty houses. I'm talking about when you're, if you're a wholesaler and you got that house under contract and you want to get that thing flipped in the next week or two to make some quick money. Let's face it. Subject twos make a lot of cash. Rehabbing makes a lot of cash. Short sales can make a lot of cash and do make a lot of cash. But we need some cash flow in between while we're waiting for those home runs to come through. So, most of us wholesale. A lot of us, that's all we do is wholesale. I mean, there's some people that make a million bucks a year wholesaling. So, in any case, let's talk about how to get rid of these houses. First, you get them under contract. You're going to flip them or assign them to somebody else. There's free ways to market. Free ways. I feel like I'm going to be driving a car. Anyway, there's free ways to market and there's paid ways to market. And most... Until recently, until about six or eight months ago, and different virtual wholesaling methods started coming up and virtual training classes coming up by the likes of uh, Tim Mai and Mike Collins. Um, Chris Chico has a good virtual wholesaling system, so does uh, Larry Goins. Uh, but in, 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 until about six or maybe a year ago, when people really started focusing on the, on the internet, paid ways were really how everybody taught to market houses. And they, those ways still work today. You know, we do a lot of things to market our houses. And one of the things we find that bandit signs still to this day get us more phone calls than anything else. That might be different in your business. Could depend, it's different in everybody's business. But for us, we find bandit signs to work the best. Now, they're not free. They're not real expensive. I mean, you could throw up 200 bandit signs for 200 bucks or roughly 200 bucks maybe a little bit more uh, but we find bandit signs to be very effective that's one of the ways that you can get people to call just you know uh, simple bandit signs we find we also find when we're selling a house if the bandit signs are handwritten we get a higher response I don't know maybe people would rather deal with the guy down the street just the regular guy as compared to you know a fancy pants company or something like that but in any case we get a better res response when we're selling houses with handwritten bandit signs so you know just the, the standard handyman special whatever it might be um, works so bandit signs are good uh, ads in the newspaper are, are excellent for moving wholesale houses but don't go don't go overboard don't go in the real expensive papers go in the weekly papers or, or get a deal or maybe try a Sunday only because remember if you're doing this right you should have a lot of a lot of action kind of quick over a few days time so handyman special uh, re value 150,000 first 60,000 takes it something like that and all the, the programs I mentioned before teach you how to write ads and that's kind of like a whole different episode on how to write copy but that works paid internet sites work for marketing marketing properties I mean you know there's there's different sites where you pay to put your to put your uh, to put your ads up there. I don't use them, but I've had some I've heard some people have some good success with them. Something that we do use that works pretty well are flat fee MLS listings where you get your property listed on the MLS for a flat fee. In other words, you're not going through a realtor, so there's no contract involved. You pay 200 bucks. We actually have a place that does it, I believe for 149 bucks. So for 150 bucks, you get your house listed on the MLS, and then you know there's a lot of investors. That's how they start their day is by reading the MLS. So those are some paid ways to get those junkers out there, and there are others, but those are the most effective. Again, for us, we find bandit signs. Yeah. Curly, shut up! Yeah. Don't tell me no. Yeah. That's my bird out yeah. there. I really apologize. In any case, um, different free ways to market your properties that don't cost anything but some time. And you know, either you could do this yourself, or you could very inexpensively, you know, hire hire a virtual assistant to do this, get a neighborhood kid to do it. But a few hours on the internet can really get you a lot of exposure. Now, one of the first things you're going to do, of course, is contact your buyers list. And we do have another. Uh, I believe it was a newbie two two new. Bleh. A newbie Tuesday segment on how to contact a buyer's list or how to grow a buyer's list. So you do want to contact your buyer's list first. Uh, secondly, you want to post on internet forums. There's plenty of forums on the internet. Uh, Cree Online is one. And I got a little bit of BS for you today. www.magicbullets.com. That's, uh, I am a moderator at that forum. There's a great group of people there. www.magicbullets.com. A word from our sponsors. They're really not sponsors, but 
a good group. So, but you can post some houses for sale there. There's a lot of other forums out there that that'll let you do that. William Tingle has a, a good forum that you can post on, uh, and I'm sure you've probably already got your favorites. Um, what's another one? BiggerPockets.com is a good forum for learning internet stuff. I mean, learning uh, real estate stuff and posting deals as well. Yeah, yeah. Now another place to go to go post deals online to sell these junkers or ugly houses is Yahoo and Google Lists. If you go to Google or you go to Yahoo and you go to their list section, you will find lists of 10, 15, 20,000 20, investors all on this one list, or groups, I guess it's called, Google Groups, Yahoo Groups. There's a lot, search, go to Google, Google, go to Google Groups or Yahoo Groups and search real estate investors and you will in many cases find large lists of real estate investors and you can post your for sale junkers to them and you know you can sit down for a couple hours just with Google and Yahoo groups and you can find that you can get your message out to 10, 15, 20,000 real estate investors all in one quick you know session. Um, Facebook and MySpace there's dozens of groups in Facebook group, Facebook groups and MySpace groups that are real estate related groups Join those groups when you get a junker for sale that you're going to assign or flip. Market it there, post it there. That's a great place. There's also sales lists online. www.rehablist.com is a nationwide uh, website, free for you to post to specifically get your your junkers out there. Rehablist.com. That's run by Mike Collins, who is a very formidable investor, investor trainer, and runs a great site. www.hotbargainproperties.com. Hotbargainproperties.com is another good site where you can post your junkers. Uh, that's run by Tim Mai. So there really are a lot of resources out there where, like I said, a few hours on the internet, you can get your ad in front of thousands literally thousands if not tens of thousands of investors so google and yahoo groups facebook groups myspace groups hotbargainproperties.com rehablist.com all the different internet forums out there your rei clubs your local rei clubs some of them have forums posted on those um, go to google type let's say you live in phoenix type type sell my phoenix house in Google or Yahoo and you're gonna get a whole list of Phoenix investors that are gonna pop up you go to each site one at a time and fill out the form and your phone's gonna to start to ring to sell to those investors um, obviously there's Craigslist there's Kijiji.com there's Backpage.com where you can just go post your houses for sale that a lot of investors use to find deals out as well um, another source that you know two years ago realtors were you know, I got nothing against realtors. I love realtors. They, they know the business and I've learned a lot. But, you know, two years ago, if you went to a realtor and were talking about assigning things or leasing things, they were like, oh, no, we don't do that. Well, the market's a little different now. And you know what? They do that now. Those realtors that two years ago, you know, were just selling everything by throwing a sign out front. Some of them are hurting a little right now, so they will be a lot more flexible. So a letter out to realtors simply saying, you know, I come across houses from time to time. Do you mind if I run them by you? And, you know, and I'll mention something. You don't have to list with these realtors to get them to bring you a buyer. We've sold houses through realtors where we don't list it. But we let the realtor know, hey, I got a house here for sale. Bring me a buyer and I'll pay you. And again, they're hurting right now. So those realtors that we don't do that right now, a couple years ago, <laughs> guess what? They'll do that right now. You want to get back at them if they call you up and tell you, uh, I got a house I want you to lease. You know, one of my clients wants to lease. You can say, we don't do that right now if it's one of those. But in any case, those are a lot of free sources and some paid sources to get those houses sold quick. Wholesaling brings you cash flow so you can afford to do the deals that take a little bit longer. I am Nick. This is the Flippin' Right Show. I hope you're flipping right. I know I'm flipping right. Don't forget, first and third Friday of the month, we have Flippin' Midnight. Talk to me live, midnight Eastern time, right here at www.rei-tv.com. See you next time.